Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 TSA MP tutorial part 6. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about or demonstrate how to perform role swap or um, uh, role change between the standby and the primary, like the standby becoming the primary and primary becoming the standby. So the role change or role swap using DB2 Hike utility or you can also do that using the uh, db2 tsa commands the scripts that i'm using the data files that i'm using are available for free download at db2 lwacademy.blogspot.in and please subscribe to my youtube channel youtube.com slash db2 lw academy this slide talks about the problem scenario and the solution the scenario is we want to perform role swap using db2 hiq utility or the tsa commands uh, obviously, the prerequisite is we need to have an existing TSA HD, HDR database in peer state, which is very important. And the solution is there are actually there are three methods. The first method is using the DB2 hike utility, which is a more safer one. The second method is using directly the TSA command. So you can use RGREQ, like resource group request command with the move option. And uh, that, that's more like a TSA command. You can do that. And the hike utility actually under the say hike utility, I think it is more of a script kind of a, or a front end kind of a utility. And uh, under the uh, the hood it is also placing a move request only for that resource group but uh, it has some kind of advantages like you don't need to understand tsa or something you can just go ahead into the utility and do that um the third thing is using a manual takeover so you can just perform just the you know the the typical command right take over hadr db db name that that also should work fine uh, but method uh, three which, which is the manual takeover is it's allowed there is no harm in it there is no harmful effects it's it's perfectly working but but it's not generally suggested so you we just want to go through either the haiku utility or the rg request command manual take i don't know i'm just theoretically saying that but it is i, I don't see why you should not use it but uh, maybe in like see for example if you do manual takeover you just want to be make sure that you have everything in the proper peer state and everything like runtime something can happen like these things are not like the takeover is not like a spontaneous like an instantaneous thing it will take some two or three minutes so uh, the built-in error resiliency will be much better if you use uh, the db2 haiku or the rg request command probably so it's only from that kind of a standpoint like a cautionary statement only we are saying that but it is a, you can do manual takeover that there's no limitation or something like that but it's, it's just more of a caution that's all um okay so so this is done um yeah i can close the pdf and uh, let me so obviously first I, I need to show you like we are using the same thing the da the tiger server and the dragon server tiger being our primary so you can see that the tiger server is online uh, uh, hadb uh, online at, with tsa implemented and all that and the ip address is also configured in the tiger resource and this is our ls ls sorry lssam output i'll just run it once again so everything is perfect here uh, we'll use the first method which is the high queue so if you want to run the high queue you can run it from anywhere so I, I'm just going to run it from the tiger server which is my the primary machine so from here so obviously before making that db2 pd hyphen db hadb hyphen hadr and I'll just say pi grep hyphen i hyphen e state hyphen e role so we just want to make sure that it is primary and it is in peer state which is proper so uh, we can initiate so db2 haicu so run the high utility from the inst1 user right the instance owner on that uh, on the tiger which is our primary machine and i am saying like uh, run the number five right move the database partition to for scheduled maintenance like that that's the number we should go for when you run for the high utility and uh, you can just look at the status of the each of the cluster nodes and they obviously they will be online so which we have checked and enter the name of the node away from which the partition so from tiger so from machine only we have to go so from tiger we want to go to uh, dragon right so we have to enter tiger here and uh, yes so we want to perform the so so it is also submitting a move request only and that is quite visible if you look at the lssam output so you can just uh, look at this option hyphen top you can see the locks are acquired 
and once the locks are acquired okay it was really fast but uh, it will also submit a move request only so we can um, probably check that see it is still submitting the move request yeah so you can see request equal to move control equal to planned like that and um, see the ip address got changed so you can see the ip address resource got changed to dragon server and the database also became online on the dragon server so so if i go to um, inst1 at dragon server and say db2 pd hyphen db hadb hyphen hadr pipe grep hyphen i state sorry um hyphen e state hyphen e role okay so this should become primary so actually dragon is now primary and the state it has also reached peer state and everything is fine so that is the first method which is the high queue method and the second method is to place a resource request itself so that also can be done so let me just come out of this so i so now actually our um, you can see that the the primary is dragon so we want to again put it back right so uh, so for the tsa way of doing that i'll just rg r e q okay this is this is the tsa way of doing that rg r e q hyphen o the option move option hyphen n okay this is not tiger so this is going to be which is the primary so the primary is dragon d r a g o n as of now so we are uh, then this is the resource group name obviously so uh, once i do this i mean it will just immediately come like that but you have to run the ls same top so it is again placing the move request you can see that and the roles will again change so um, see tiger is again becoming our primary okay and the ip resource also got changed and uh, i don't know why it's I, i think it will take some time till it reaches the peer state this is what i was telling so it should release the lock once the swap happens and it also should reach the uh, the peer state the hadr should reach the peer state and yeah so the lock got released for some reason in when i was doing that uh, in, in our previous tutorial i guess it was not releasing the lock automatically so we had to manually remove it but that's that's in the last video we'll not worry about it so that's it so it's done so using uh, using a tsa command also we can uh, do the same thing and uh, you can check here now again so this became again standby and it is again reached the peer state and you can check in the uh, tiger system also oh so here actually it is asking the move request was uh, completed successfully uh, do you want to make any other changes no okay we should have exited but uh, that's okay so i forgot to exit that um now we can again run the state and role it should be again primary and peer state so hdr uh, state is primary and uh, peer state so which is what we want and uh, um yeah so this is primary so we can go to standby machine okay so this is our standby machine and even though everything is running smooth and clear this is the third method i'm going to demonstrate so i'll just come here lssam so you can simply do like a takeover command right so which is what i was telling so from the standby server from the standby server it is in peer state we can simply initiate a takeover uh, command like i think let me see if i have the command in the history okay db2 take over hdr on db db name that's it it's very simple since the db2 commands are integrated into uh, the the thing so you can see that the lock is placed and uh, see the move request is also placed and uh, the dragon actually i think the dragon should become online yes you can see that right dragon is online and uh, dragon is online the ip address is also got changed that's it so you can uh, now check for uh, the state and role this will again become primary and it is in peer state so there is no so you can use this i think see the takeover i am i'm not saying there's no see the under the hood the takeover hdr command also is placing the move request only so we are kind of pretty much sure like we are 100% confident but 
but i don't know so uh, you know with haiku and rg request we are more comfortable and take over i'm not i'm not, i still don't know i'm just suggesting that it's 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 only just my opinion so i could be wrong also so so feel free to use it either ways by doing some enough reading and also if you, if the ibm team is suggesting it then it's it's great so i'm not saying uh, as a hard and fast rule you should not use the take over command uh but you can still use it but um, i i personally prefer to use other uh, when other methods are there with built in resiliency i just don't want to use this if somebody can confirm that yes it this it, this is also having the same kind of resiliency then we can go ahead and use this take over command so without any issues um see because here we are not saying we are not talking about we have to make sure that it, it is in peer state we have to make sure that it is in uh within that peer window everything should happen like that so um so that those are the things that i'm getting worried about that's why i'm suggesting maybe these haiku and other tools might have some uh inbuilt resiliency because they are not simply placing the request uh there is a kind of script that is provided by ibm uh which is getting executed and it might have some additional built in resiliency uh with respect to tsa status changes and other things which might not be the case with take take over command so which i am not 100% sure that's why i am asking for a confirmation that's why i am not saying you know with a full assertive manner i am not able to say that you use take over command freely you know like that you know without any inhibitions so so that's it so um simple thing so it's all done and uh, you can see that now dragon has become the primary so i'll be switching over uh, to the the other way if, um, Uh that's it in this video tutorial hope this information was useful to you see you in the next video tutorial until then bye bye